Hello, control booth groupies. I'm Robert Armstrong from Pathway Connectivity, and we have six new things for you folks to take a look at at USITT this year. I'm sure some of you are familiar with Corio, our Broadway uh, console in a three-gang wall box. Well, we now are introducing Corio NSB, networked sliders and buttons. This is a PoE device, basically, with a master module and a number of slaves. You can have just the master, or you can have up to five slave devices in any combination you want. Two button, four button, one slider, two slider. And the way this works is you can either associate one, of, one button or slider with a memory in the Corio, or you can actually capture with a button up to four universes of streaming ACM. So if you have four four button stations here, that's up to 64 universes of SACN from one panel. Imagine that. Down here in the Pathport world, we know some of you have folder installations and occasionally you get a checksum error when these boot up. We now have a refurb kit for them. We'll essentially sell you the core board, goes on the back, uh, very simple, straightforward refurb of your, of your system, and I bet you'll get another six to eight years out of these easy. Uh, also, you know, some of them don't say Pathport, and you might be interested in the refurb kit for them. We've also uh, released for sale a variant of the Via 12. This is a pure rack mount uh, switch with two optical con uh, duo for LC fiber on the back, multi-mode fiber on the back. Same, uh, <coughs> same uh, uh, firmware, all the same feature sets. Check out the website for those because it's a pretty long list. And over here, we now have a five port DIN rail mounted switch. All the same features, although you do have to go through the new management software to, to get to them, with or without a fiber sled. The only thing that we didn't do was put the ring protect on this because it seemed a bit silly to sacrifice two copper ports just for that. In the uh, DMX world, an eight port DMX RDM hub, uh, just a straight eight way, well, one input on any port goes out all the others. That's just a straight RDM splitter. Uh, structured priority, so A over B over C over D, etc. Uh, if you want to put your main console here, you know it will take over from the architectural controller when it comes online. So you can actually set up a pretty sophisticated uh, no patch bay, no user touch anything, don't have to explain this, it just works like magic, um, sourcing arrangement. Or user driven AB switch. A uh, when it's open, B is your backup, when you close the switch that's where you go. And then there's a merge mode as well, which does not support RDM. And then I think the final thing, which takes us back to Corio, is we're now offering some accessories. This lovely little consulette box fits Corio perfectly. Doesn't that look sexy? Don't you want one on your desk? You can even put slider stations in. And uh, we won't, well, I guess it's 360, so you might be able to see right in there. We also have a 4RU rack panel adapter for Corio. Uh, for somewhere back in the hotel for you integrators who are watching this. Again, I'm Robert Armstrong, Pathway Connectivity. Thanks for watching me uh, ramble on a little bit here at USITT 2016, and you folks are missing great skiing.